Hello everyone, uh, welcome back again uh, to lesson 4, uh, polynomials in the form of x squared plus bx plus x. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to take two binomials today and we're going to FOIL them. Maybe that is a familiar term to you, maybe it is not, but you are going to learn what that means. Um, or if you don't want to, you can use a little bit longer, but uh, also a very reliable method. I'm going to show you that one first because after I show you the FOIL method, that is the one that I'm going to use for the entire time. Uh, whenever I am multiplying two binomials together like I am uh, in this lesson. So uh, when I multiply two binomials together, they don't look like a squared plus bx plus x, but they are going to. Um, so um, that is why uh, we form it like that. Um, Let's do this. So multiplying two binomials together, the first method that we can use to do this is to use a rectangle diagram, maybe a Punnett square. Um, you might have heard of before, it's very similar. But we're going to write each binomial around the outside and then find out when you multiply each portion of it, what goes in each box. Let's do this. So let's write our box, kind of like our window, but there's no curtains in our in our window this time. And on top is going to go x minus 4. Those are two separate entities. They are from the first bracket there, x and minus 4. And then here we're going to have x and 2. Those are two separate entities. You can go plus 2 if you want, but you don't have to. Um, now you're going to take each box and write the intersection of the two pieces in it. So x times x is x squared. x times minus 4 is minus 4x. 2 times x is 2x. And in this box, 2 times minus 4 is minus 8. So these are my four pieces that I'm going to need to put together. And you'll notice that the boxes that are diagonal here, they have like terms so you can combine them. That's not true for the other diagonal, but there are going to be generally two uh, boxes that are the same terms, so you can combine. So when we write it out, our answer is x squared uh, minus 4x plus 2x is minus 2x and minus 8. So we multiplied those two binomials together, x minus 4 and x plus 2, to get x squared minus 2x minus 8. Um, let's try the next one together. We have our box, bigger box this time apparently. We have 8 and negative b and 3 and negative b. Okay, it doesn't really matter what order they're in because we're just going to do them all by each other anyway. 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times minus b is minus 3b. 8 times minus b is minus 8b. And then negative b times negative b, that's b squared. The negatives uh, cancel out. So then we can, again, um, notice that these two are the same terms, so we can combine them. So we always write the squared portion first. b squared minus 3b minus 8b, that's minus 11b, and then plus 24. There's your answer easy as that. Uh, why don't you try the next one on your own, right here. On your own, expand and simplify c plus 3 times 7 minus c. Um, and then when you're done, on pause, oh, you can do it together. Okay, let's do this thing. Let's draw our box. We have c and 3 7 and minus c. Everything can be multiplied by everything, so it doesn't really matter the order. 7c minus c squared. 7 times 3 is 21, and 3 times minus c is minus 3c. Uh, I see I've got negative c squared. 7c minus 3, that's 4c plus 21. One thing that's really important though is that we do not like to have this negative here. That is a no-go. We do not like that. 
Whenever you have that negative in front of the C squared or the A squared or whatever the squared value is, you're going to flip all of the signs in that expression. It's still the same expression, it's just write, written a whole lot neater. Um, so what we'd write is C squared minus 4C minus 21. We just want to have that value as a positive all the time. Um, it will help us later on, maybe not in this particular lesson, but as we move forward it will help. I'll show you the second method now, um, which is a little bit quicker, a little bit less writing, um, and you don't have to draw a box every time. So we have x plus 2 times x plus 3. So what we're going to do is foil it. Foil. What in the name of tar tarnation is foil? Well, what that stands for is first outside, inside, and last. So um, first means that we are going to multiply the first value in each bracket by each other. So we're going to go x times x. That is the first. That is f. We are then going to take the outside numbers and multiply them together. So the second thing we're going to do is take x and 3. Those are the two outside values. So let's do x and 3. That is the outside. We're going to take the inside values, which maybe you figured out was the two that are inside here, 2 and x. That's inside. And then we're going to take the last values, so 2 and 3, the last ones in each bracket. I'll make a different color here just so that it's clear. 2 and 3, that is the last. And with that, you get FOIL, F-O-I-L, first, outside, inside, and last. So let's do that for this problem to solve it. The first values multiplied together are x and x, so that is x squared. The outside values are x and 3, so that's plus 3x. The inside values are 2 and x, that's plus 2x. And then our, out, our last values, pardon me, of FOIL, the L is 2 times 3, that's plus 6. We then need to combine these because they are like terms, just like before in our box scenario, there are two that are the same. So we get x squared plus 3 plus 2 is 5x plus 6. And that is your final answer. So FOIL is a very, very useful um, tool to multiply two binomials together. Let's do the next one together um, using this method. So we have x minus 4 and x plus 1. The first values are x and x, so that's x squared. The outside values are x and 1, so that's plus x. Inside is negative 4 and x, that's negative 4x. And the last is negative 4 plus 1, so I'll multiply by plus 1, sorry, so that should be minus we're then going to combine the two inside like terms. So that's x squared, um, x minus 4x. So that's minus 3x minus 4. Okay. This is your final answer. So first, outside, inside, last. Foil. Let us do the next one. If any of these you have problems with, you feel free to send me an email. Ask questions, put them in the comments below. Uh, I review them all, so if you have a comment um, or a question, you can post it there, uh, and I will definitely see it. Let's try the next one. We have a minus 7 times a minus 3. Just because the variables change doesn't mean anything, uh, we still do the FOIL. Uh, first, outside, inside, last. So a times a, that's a squared. Outsides, a times minus 3, minus 3a. Three Insides is minus 7a. And the last is minus 7 times minus 3, positive 21. Combine our like terms in the middle. a squared minus, th minus 3 minus 7a, so that's minus 10a 
plus 21. I didn't make that box very good over here, but you get the picture. Uh, a squared minus 10a plus 21 is your final answer. Uh, there's one left for you to do on your own, and then it is some do nows for you after that. So um, give it a pause, and when you're done, come back and we can do it together. All right, let's get it done here. Five minus n, and nine plus n. That is my question. We are going to expand and simplify to make a trinomial. Doesn't matter that the n's are on the back part now. We're just going to write it out and then flip it around however we need. So five times n is 45. Yeah, that is for the firsts. Outside is five times n, so that's five n. Insides is a negative n times nine, so that's negative nine n. And then negative n times n is negative n squared. I'm going to combine, and I'm also going to switch the positions of these, just because that's how we like to write it. So I've got negative n squared, five n minus nine, that's minus four n plus 45. And then again, I don't like this negative here. It's not a nice negative sign. So we're going to flip all the signs to get rid of it. n squared plus 4n minus 45. So we have not done anything to the expression when we flip all the signs. It's still all the same. Um, it's just a much nicer notation for us. Again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to email or comment. Um, and we'll be back soon with another lesson. Bye.